Well, they got to learn fast. You know, there was 34 of 70 freshmen on our travel roster um, last Saturday. That's a lot of freshmen. And um, mo a lot of them are playing for us right now. So we have to do a good job of getting those guys caught up as fast as we can and uh, making sure that they don't make those young mistakes and hurt the football team. Uh, after going through the tape, what did you think about the way that Danny performed? What could he do better other than kind of breaking things down for him and simplifying it to those four or five things like you said before? Well, uh, Danny's got to be a little bit more accurate with the ball he, uh, at times. But the big thing for Danny is to make sure that he throws the ball away in those critical situations. Some of our third down situations that we didn't convert were because we didn't throw it away. And now all of a sudden it's second and 13 or second and 14. And those are hard for anybody to overcome, especially a, a young football team like us that's struggling a little bit throwing the ball. Mike, I think, that the, like I mentioned before, I think we have to even limit what we're doing schematically so we execute better. Um, uh, it's okay to know it, but you still have to go out and execute it. So that's what we have to do a little bit better, uh, Mike, offensively. How frustrating is this coach to watch the same sorts of things week after week, whether you're changing guys in and out or not? Well, it's very it, – obviously, it's frustrating. You put a lot of work into it, and you want better results. Um, so it is frustrating. Some of those things are frustrating. But you, you, you know where you are as a program. You're working through those things. And the, the whole goal as a program is you've got to continually try to get better at little things. And there's a lot of things that you've got to get better at, and that's part of it. That's part of the growing process. And our staff is, you know, working tirelessly to get those things fixed. And um, that's what they'll do. You know, I think – if, if you're doing a lot of things and you're just doing them okay, that doesn't help you. you got to find three or four things right now where we are, maturity-wise, as a football team, and you got to do them well. And you got to be able to hang your hat on something, uh, whether it's the inside zone or the power play or whether it's our, our three-step game, getting the ball out of his hands, uh, a mid-range passing game. we got to find a few things that we can do. Also, you know, when you're play you also got, obviously got to scheme teams so you got to find that, that balance to be able to do both. I know one of the emphasis is you want to get the running game going. Two, what can you do to get the running game going? And then how do you do that against facing maybe the nation's best run defense? Well, that's a great question. You're right. Uh, our running game needs to get ramped up a little bit. The scene, the, you know, it's funny. You watch the tape, and they're getting hats on hats. Our guys are blocking guys, but the lanes are so small. So we talked about doing some things with our splits and, and uh, trying to create some bigger lanes. The guys are assignment sound, and you always wonder, is a guy missing a guy or cutting a guy loose? But that was not the case after watching the film. Uh, we need to create bigger running lanes, and we'll do a couple of things to help our running lanes. Uh, in terms of the best defense in the country, uh, they're good. Uh, they're, front, they're, they're very structurally sound with nine guys in the front. And uh, those safeties are downhill. They're playing at eight yards, and they're screaming downhill on the snap of the ball. So uh, we're going to have to do a good job of neutralizing those safeties as well as being able to push the ball on the outside. State offense has been struggling, but the last two games they really kicked it in gear. What kind of, what kind of problems does that present now? You know, I just watched all the Indiana game before I came over here. And what you see with the uh, – Michigan State offense is the quarterback is really starting to play well, getting the ball out of his hands fast. But the more, more so than that, I see a, a very, very patient offense. It's, they're playing behind their defense. Uh, they're not forcing the ball anywhere. And if they got to punt it, they punt it. But they're starting to make some big runs because uh, their defense is getting them lots of, uh, lots of plays. And then that's where uh, you see the, the maturity of their football team.